to our MCSA Starfield video. We're gonna be streaming some Starfield. Really that much. Gonna be um doing some of the fashion missions. Played some last night. Just doing some oddball missions. Nothing really. I don't want to hear any complaints. It. It's great to see you. How is Ma? Oh, same as usual. Except now, all she does is goes on. Yes, what? Didn't say anything to you. Excuse me, excuse me. A little task for here. Hey. Hello. Hello. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Let's go. I'm guessing the Marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent well, a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Will do. Will do. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. an eye on your valuables. As for parts, if you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but 
that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Birchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Birchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. All right. yeah. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. Oh, yeah. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Yes. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Where were you on the map? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review rest assured if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice i'll let you know no nothing at all it was just a, a standard hope tech cargo hauler not that it didn't have great value mind you hope tech Build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Hey, cheers. Well, 
That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. <laughs> if you're waiting on approvals, take a look at Gal Bank. Approvals over with. Uh -huh. well, Local security handles this factory. Problems. I only get involved if something bad. Gotcha. And we go back to the station. Off world, there is nothing ever. Just keep it holstered. no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by... Is it for a second? picked up the aurora you're carrying the second you step in. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run. Not my problem. <laughs> oh, let's get
Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth yeah. is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not, there are two things you don't do in Neon. One, you don't mess with them. You understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. Demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are... Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you can do for me. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. The place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. 
They're not stupid enough to tang with me. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is... Do you now? You don't know what you're... The answer's still... Look, I'd like to help, but... Yeah, I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Okay. That's easy enough. Better than me, my father. A new customer, perhaps? Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this, anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Well, in that case... I'll consider the matter closed. That's you fine. can tell Mr. Clayton he'll have no further trouble from me. As for you, well, I'm aware the Rangers have a reputation for goodness and nobility, but I'm surprised all the same. <laughs> Yeah, 
believe Xeno Fresh charges us a licensing fee to fish near Neon. Don't make assumptions. Did you talk to Goodman? You... You paid the whole thing off? That's... A lot more than I was expecting. Thank you. I get the feeling you got other sources of income besides what you make as a deputy. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. I got some stuff to do. I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going. I wouldn't be involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. You... I... No, I... I guess I didn't. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. 
Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. Sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh. You're welcome? Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. I go back to the Kielison. Take it easy. Good work in this deputy. Talk to Ranger Shadid. Listen, I've seen him show a million times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass, not mine on the whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the ebbside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes. Kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. Hey, dang! I just need two more for sure. The services deck is in the heart of the front.
is really the heart of the first time. It's really an honor to be able to help out. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. <laughs> You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy.
Chill for a cup of coffee right about now. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Solbach. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, but I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. Need to what make sure you those files are backed well, up. Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone. You had a chance to talk to Dr. Patient. Cassidy. Really I'll fun see what guy. I can do. Yeah, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's sort of capable guy. hands. Almost you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer systems, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. The private sector. Well, that's where the real money's at. Oh. 
Everything up all right? alien pathogen we discover yeah, is just good. a little more job security. Thanks, Gotta really, look on the bright side, right? Worry. Okay, give me phone. just a minute here. Of course, dear. I remember my first <laughs> If Ben hadn't been here, like Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Oh, shit. Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah, let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. I can see you still have doubts, but I assure you, my story is true. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Pain's finally starting to get a little more manageable. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. Unless you're here to track down that no-account husband of mine, that is. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while? given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, a sore back, digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus, but these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. If you're looking for someone who's done something wrong, how about telling these doctors to work on their bedside manner? If I'm gonna be frank with you, it leaves a lot to be desired. I suppose that also means you don't wanna talk to me anymore either? Well, go on then. Don't let me keep you. I thought the high and mighty Free Star Rangers were supposed to help others in need. If you ask me, I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on then. Don't let. Something to report? 
Hey, how'd it go? Do you have any luck? As a matter of fact, I do. I made some progress digging through the patient records, and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted, authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. Another day, another shift. If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. Yes, what do you want? I'm sorry, but we don't permit unskilled. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No. Goodbye. There's such a mountain of work, I could really use a hand.
come out. Never a dull moment. No matter how much we learn, we're only just first.
Signing out. I'll see y'all later.